This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you live from the Windy City of Chicago, Illinois at ITW 2018, and I am here with my new friend, Mr. Roy Hilliard. Roy is the... Good morning very much. Welcome to JSA TV, Roy. Thank you. Thank you. First time. It's, I'm feeling good. Outstanding. Outstanding. And you're my first interview of the morning, so oh, let's geez. let's try to get this right, okay? You and me. We're okay. This together. Outstanding. Outstanding. Roy is the new VP of yeah. Business development at NJFX. Roy, uh, congratulations on your new position, and why don't you tell us a little bit about the focus of that position? Sure. Great. No, I, thank you. It's been great to be a part of the team and exciting times at NJFX for sure. So uh, my focus is really going to be on, besides expanding our relationship with carriers into the NJFX marketplace, I'm also going to be focused on a couple key other areas, mainly the enterprise side, and that could be media, banking, finance, gaming, you know, all sorts of areas in that space, as well as education. And the education side, it could be higher education, could be research. You know, in all the cases, the solutions are the same. They're centered on, on great, direct, rapid access to data that sits in the NJFX marketplace with our subsea capacity partners and our, and our carrier partners. So exciting times, exciting times, and great, uh, great to get to it. Outstanding. So let's talk a little bit about, I don't know if we can call IoT an emerging, <laughs> an, an emerging technology, right, right. an emerging uh, application at this point, but let's talk a little bit about that and um, your thoughts on IoT, and then we're, uh, we're going to get into kind of NG, NJFX's um, right. position in that space. Go ahead. No, abs absolutely. And, and I think, you know, as I mentioned, we're looking at the enterprise and education spaces. All those companies and, and entities are looking at how they're going to handle applications, and IoT is one that everyone's getting into. Is you could throw in AI, you can throw in 5G. You can throw all of that in the situation, and it all drives into you know an immense amount of data that needs to be you know processed and rapidly accessed. If you can't have that, then it all falls apart. And so, all these companies are, are trying to figure out how to how to solve that. IoT is one great example that we see at NJFX is ability to support not only the enterprises I mentioned, but also the carriers as they work out with their partners. Say, hey, you know, you've got to put all this data somewhere. You know, might as well have you know a great tier three data center that you can have access not only internationally with the subsea capacity, but also domestically. So we see that, the, the immense amount of data that's coming in, you know, again, with IoT or even uh, AI and all the just data uh, replication and storage, mm -hmm. great opportunity for us. Outstanding. So um, you're providing a better segue than I could for myself. So um, NJFX, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you give us a little bit of background about NJFX and really kind of what role you expect right. um, NJFX to play in the future of IoT? Yeah, we're a very uniquely uh, centered uh, data center uh, op operation that obviously has an immense amount of stuff coming in in terms of subsea capacity that mm -hmm. comes in with our partners there with TI Sparkle and Tata and things of that nature, along with great partners domestically in the U.S. US that you know Zayo and Windstream and others that are coming through. So ability to have that that marketplace and that that exchange is fantastic. And so what we see is it's not just a typical data center. You know in that regards, where besides being uniquely located away from New York City and everything else, mm -hmm. we have that access. And then we, you know yeah into that you know the tier three data center capabilities that we can host and do what we need to do for for the enterprise grade customers and even beyond that when you look at security and HIPAA compliances and things of that nature. We're really you know great things on the horizon for what we can do there. And, you know, again, it, we also have surrounding 48 acres in the campus, so there's some, some other, you know, customized <laughs> things we can do down the road that doesn't include football fields and things like that. It actually includes... Although that'd be you know, fun, right? Would be fun, would be fun. <laughs> but, you know, I think it's going to be more data, cent data center-centric and, and things of that nature, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Very good, very good. You use the word horizon. What is on the horizon for NJFX? Yes, uh, exciting. 2018, I think, is going to be a very exciting year. I mean, they've come up through, and I'm excited to be a part of the team as, as, as the momentum continues to grow. I think you're going to see more more carriers and more things of that nature dive into the marketplace mm -hmm. and the new J uh, NJFX exchange. I think, again, the enterprise customers coming on board and looking at that will, mm -hmm. will further you know, expand that ec ecosystem that will really offer folks a lot, of, a lot of things going on. We have some interesting projects going on to avoid New York City with some wet links coming in from, from Long Island. And dog, some, that and sounds like something we'll be able to talk uh, about uh, maybe next year. It might be. Might okay, be you know, uh, and, and also things coming down, even avoiding Miami down the other way with mm -hmm. our partners. So really creating a situation that, you know, again, as, as as you look at across the, the horizon, to your point, you know, companies are, are struggling with how, you, how do you balance all this stuff? How do you make all this stuff work? How do you get diversity? How do you get yeah. rapid access? We're in the center of all that, so we, we can be certainly someone to talk to to, to help them out and if, if, with our partners and our, our facility. We're in great shape. Outstanding. Roy, thank you very much for joining me today, and congratulations you. on your well, new you position. You, you bet, you bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.